Say hi, baby. Say hi. Hey. She said hi. Hi. Wave hi, Livy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, this is Olivia. This is my daughter. I got a lot of comments on how I lost my baby weight, uh, my diet now, if I exercise, if I don't. Also, like mommy experiences, like what's my best experience, what's the hardest uh, part of this experience. So I'm going to go over a few of them. So when I got pregnant, it was obviously a shock. I think I was going through a lot of emotions. Um, if I, you know, how I, you know, if I could take up on the responsibility, Olivia, <laughs> and and um, and you know, I'm old enough and I'm responsible. So um, I decided that um, I want my daughter to be born. And I think what it it, I mean, it takes, a, I mean, it's a lot of work. It's definitely not um, how it is, you know, on TV and stuff. So, uh, my pregnancy, um, I did a, actually, I did a channel. Um, I still have my channel. It uh, is called Michelle's Baby Diary. And uh, on there is, like, pretty much my, me documenting my whole pregnancy. You see, like, my stomach getting bigger, all the things that I'm going through. Um, I haven't yet made a video on uh, the things that, ow, Olivia, the things that are the hardest and the best moments and the hardest moments. Um, so I'm just going to go over that right now. Uh, right now, Olivia is one and one month. She is, she's a really good baby. She, I mean, I really can't say anything bad, like good. I can't pinpoint an actual moment because there's been so many and she's growing so fast it's it's almost like I forgot it's weird um, you know I remember when she was you know three months or four months you know very clearly when I was going through that time but right now I can't even remember I'm only focused on what she's doing as of right now but I think the hardest time that I had during my pregnancy or no no, no during my um, her first year was just the sleep I lost a lot of sleep but I it's honestly it's so worth it I can't even say that it was a negative because when I think about it <laughs> I I just don't see her as being an all as a negative but ow 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 the hardest thing was um, another hard thing was working uh, working because I'm a single mom it's different when there's two hands two set of hands that's I, I have never known that feeling, so you just make, you have to make it work. With her, um, she has a lot of hair. With her, luckily I have a lot of help from my sister and my mother um, to help me watch her um, while I do go to work. That's kind of important, and I don't think that it could have been this easy if uh, I didn't have them. So I'm actually really, really grateful for my sister, uh, Steph, and my mom. Once, you know, when you have your baby and the, your baby's one now, uh, they're definitely going through a lot of milestones and they're hitting them really quick. Olivia, you know, once she learned how to wave, it just all came like um, pretty quick from there. Mm-hmm. It came pretty quick from there and and it hasn't stopped like every day I feel like she's learning something new every day and she's repeating everything I say now like well she's trying to um, she's running she ha definitely has her own mind she likes things she doesn't like things let me stop baby she has her own opinion about things for sure now she does know she does not say yes okay let me fix your hair it's in your face but all around, she, I've been pretty spoiled. She's been um, sleeping through the night since she was three months. So, I mean, I, I can't say I had a really horrible time. I know a lot of women out there are dealing with uh, really fussy babies, colicky babies. And it's hard. I, I understand that. Your first months, you kind of feel like a slave. Like you're a slave to this baby. And you really are. And you don't really feel like yourself. And you, you might go through depression and... Um, 
I kind of hid a little bit of it, not too much, because I, right when I was three months, or she was three months, I started going to work, and, and I got out, and I got to be a little social, and I started feeling like myself, I was losing a little bit of weight, um, gradually it happened, it doesn't just happen overnight, it's really not, and I know that also adds to the depression, and I think with me now, I'm at a, you know, I'm at a comfortable state, I'm not as skinny as I wanted to be, um, I'm not complaining at all, I am um, actually where I want to be now, because I was skinnier before, and I didn't really like my weight that much, now I really like my figure, um, I'm more curvy now, your body definitely changes, and you'll know that, Libby, are you playing? Okay, so another thing, um, how I lost the weight. Yes? No. <laughs> so how I lost the weight, hmm, it was definitely gradual. It didn't happen overnight, like I said. I lost maybe five here, five there. Um, now I'm at 125, 127, give or take. I don't really eat as much as I used to. Um, I like to eat throughout the day but very small portions. Now I replaced a lot of um, my foods with like my you know breakfast will have oatmeal. I'll have um, wheat toast instead of white. I will try to cut out tortillas as much as I can. Um, ri white rice. I mean honestly I used to eat white rice with every meal. I mean because that's how I was raised. My family had white rice at every meal and it's a habit that you have to break and I definitely have started breaking that. Yeah, I cut out fast food altogether. I try to cook at home. Whoop, I love you, you okay? Oh, you're okay. And I pretty much cut that out. I drink a lot of water. I always have water with me. Um, but I still enjoy a lot of foods. I, you know, I'm not a vegetarian. I still eat meat. Um, I do have bread. Um, I'm just a little bit more strict uh, than I was. I'm not like on this health kick where all you know all of a sudden I drastically go from one eating style to another. No, um, I'm gradually getting there and healthier um, and healthier, and I have been seeing the results for sure. Um, I used to go to the gym a lot, but now um, since I started the you know YouTube and um, I haven't really had that much time. So if I do work out. It, you'll probably find me uh, using the connect and kind of doing workout mode. Um, I do workout mode for, uh, you know, while she naps as well. So, like, um, if I'm not filming or editing, I'm, you know, I'm working out that way. So, I would say I can, I get to it about a couple times a week, which is not that much. I could be doing a lot more. I have more time um, to walk around. Walking is really good. I think um, also what helped me, um, if you just had a baby, um, was walking. I walked, um, I would just go to the mall and I would stroll Livy around and I would walk. And it actually really helped. Any kind of activity, like, and, it, and it's perfect because it's summer and um, spring and you, it's nice outside to go walking. And that's really important, um, especially since uh, you just had a baby. So, if that was the case, yeah, walk. Another thing that kind of uh, got me out of my depression was dressing up. I think um, when you ha you put a little bit of time to focus on yourself, it really helps you get out of that rut. Well, I had my mother and my sister to watch Olivia when I went to work, so it got me to socialize. But um, at home, you know, I would dress up. I like to, like, you know, put makeup on, do your hair, curl it, like you know, get, go shopping, get a new shirt, something that flatters your body to where, you know, it's a little loose so you can't really tell, like, that you just had a baby. Um, that really helped me. I felt, I felt really bad um, right when I had her and I still, like, was a little, you know, that, you know, that little pouch that you get. That, I felt really horrible after that and I just didn't, ex you know, I didn't think my body was ever going to go back. I just had no hope. I, you know, I had stretch marks. I was just, I was really upset. But it does. You really have to know that it, it, it will get better and you're not always going to look like that and your stretch marks will fade. That's kind of the uh, 
idea that I had to get in my head. I had to tell myself this, okay, this will be better. And it really does. I'm honestly proof. You know, I gained at least 40 pounds with my pregnancy. And so I ended at like 160, 160 I think. So I gained about 43 pounds total and that was that's actually a lot but I lost it all I, I mean I lost most of it I lost maybe 35 pounds um, the last five is definitely the hardest the last 10 is the hardest even getting below that even five more is hard bless you Libby and you just have to work at it and you have to know that it's gonna get better because if you don't then you're just gonna stay really depressed Another thing that I did was I did a lot of research. What kind of prepared me for being uh, pregnant and expecting all the things that I have, like going through labor, the pain, anything, was I read about it. I look, I watched a bazillion YouTube videos on giving birth, and there's so many out there. There's so many documentaries out there about um, birth and and all those just. I mean, there's there's just a plethora of information that we really need to be looking into, and a lot of women that that are just kind of going in blind, uh, you're, those people are brave. I think the more you look into something, you get more comfortable and the more knowledgeable of that subject, which is being pregnant, pregnancy, labor, delivery. It's just so much better if you actually do research. And so I had um, read a few books, and one of the books, of course, is What to Expect When You're Expecting. This one isn't the first one. The, uh, the first one, I think I gave it to my sister-in-law, the What to Expect When You're Expecting, and this one is What to Expect the First Year. So I got this one, um, and this one goes pretty much through the first year. They have two. I need to actually get two, but um, they say everything. I mean, honestly, this has so much information, and I always refer to it. And I'm always making sure she's hitting all the milestones and all the things that I need to get to, um, you know, like walking, talking, things I need to work on with her. Um, because babies, they just soak everything up and you read to them all the time. They'll understand. Livy definitely understands me. I'll say, go pick that up and bring it to me. She does. She just doesn't really know how to say, you know, answer my questions. But she knows exactly what I'm talking about. She's so smart. So I suggest, um, if you are a new mother, that read. Just read tons of books about pregnancy in the first year, the second year. Because <laughs> experiencing it, you know, that's nice. But you'll know, okay, honey, you'll know just a little bit more um, when you are going through it. And you'll be like, oh, I remember that was, you know, that was what was said um, in the book. This is what's going on, you know. So you're probably like, oh, my God, that's her daughter. You guys look completely different. Um... Me and her, we look a lot alike, like our features, but she's uh, she's half um, Scottish and English, so she is definitely light-skinned with um, kind of like, it looks like her hair is turning strawberry blonde, but it's, it's getting lighter and lighter all the time. And mine, this is my natural color, it's dark, so um, she probably look like me, but with like sandy brown hair. <laughs> and she definitely is at the age where she wants to get into everything and gets upset if she doesn't get it so right now she's going through my makeup bag and she's probably gonna, oh and everything just fell out anyway um i hope i answered any of your questions um if i didn't just let me know um i'm gonna go put her down because she's really grumpy and as you can tell she's rubbing her eyes she's tired Anyway, Livy, can you say bye? At least say bye. <gasps> say bye-bye. Say bye, Livy. <laughs> say thanks for watching. That's what, the, that's what she said. She said thanks for watching. Okay, bye.